Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum today, talking about the changes from 16. Notice I'm specifically talking about the Platinum version. If you want to know more about the differences in the product versions, please check out my buyer's guide. As always, buying or upgrading your software through my affiliates link really helps me out a ton. The first thing you see when you open it up is the project selection screen. If you have 16, you'll already be used to this, but the thing to note here is the guided video creator. This is a new feature for Vegas Movie Studio 17. 17 and Vegas Movie Studio 17 Platinum that will give you a step by step guide on how to create a video. This is a great option to start learning the basics if you're new to video editing or you don't edit often. I have more about this in my tutorial on the guided video creator. What you can't see is the improved GPU support, especially with the HEVC and AVC decoding right from the timeline. A new and welcome addition. If you have AMD, NVIDIA, or Intel integrated graphics acceleration, you may see improved timeline performance. Check out my Vegas Movie Studio 17 project settings guide for more information on that. The most obvious change that will just jump out at you is the layout. You'll see the familiar bottom tabs with the different media tools, but on top now you can search through the media, transitions, and effects with ease. Highlight favorites and break down media transitions and effects by categories. This is a very welcome change since the Vegas library of transitions and effects is already so huge and there's a host of third party transitions and effects that can be added in. Some versions of Vegas come with extra effects packed in, like the new blue effect. It can easily get difficult to browse. There are 64 video effects alone. A quick note about your project settings. You now have more modern presets for your projects, i.e. 4K and progressive project settings, less emphasis on interlacing, which is definitely needed for the kind of common camera and capture codecs that people actually are using today. In the transitions tab you'll notice a new addition. This is a big new addition. It is modeling after its big brother Vegas Pro 17. It now has warp flow. This is a cool looking transition that morphs clips into each other. It can also be used for hiding jump cuts. Also inheriting from Vegas Pro 17, Movie Studio now has access to the new color grading panel, giving it better control over color correcting. It should be noted though that only Pro, not Platinum, can use LUTs and vector scopes and histograms. Still though, it's great that Movie Studio Platinum now has access to this panel, since it's a much more modern way to color correct. It's also inherited the new slow motion effect from Vegas Pro, so now there are two ways to do slow motion in Movie Studio Platinum, and this effect actually will aid in the transition between the non-existing frames that may be generated when you're doing slow motion. Pro is still the only way that you can do speed ramping, but this gives Platinum a lot more slow motion flexibility than it previously had. There also seems to be some under the hood improvements to Bezier masking effect, which allows motion tracking, tracking text, and tracking video and pictures on objects. There's also a new lens correction feature, which can be used to fix or create lens distortion. Another very notable addition are 25 new pre-done title animations. These title animations are robust and modern and very, very nice. I've got a whole video dedicated to browsing through these, but here's a few of them demonstrated. The reason you want these is because you don't want to spend all day custom making these animations. Sometimes you just want something nice to pop up there. These new modern updates will help you keep the pace with other editors without necessarily spending the time on custom creating every single animation. Of course, you still have the option for custom animating text. Smaller thing, in the preferences, they've added a quick way to enable deprecated features like legacy text, so that's nice. There are some small changes and some big changes that may lead to a lot of people with 16 upgrading right away. I'd say if you have 15 or older, you're really starting to miss out on a lot of new features for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you understand the differences between 16 and 15. Let me know your favorite differences in the description below. If you have any tutorials you would like, please let me know below. I'm going to be doing tutorials on 17 as much as I can, at least one a week from now on. Like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more. If you buy or upgrade anything through the affiliates link, that helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.